there is only one key to open the device. It's in the stomach of your dead cellmate. Oh, what? Weird headwear, lasers, and of course, more insane traps that will really grind your gears. You know, that really grinds my gears. Today, we are back at it, reacting to the medical scenes and injuries from Saw. Let's dive right in. When the time breaks by, the door in front of you will be locked forever. Just one hint as to where that key is. Oh, no. Not good, you gotta use some sort of protection. Literally at work, whenever we're finished with the needle, it has to go into a sharps container so that way it's not just left in the trash by accident, left on the counter and you don't know. Like as a physician myself, any needle that I use, I literally make sure that I put that away. It will be like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Let the game begin. If the needle still has some blood in it, you can actually inoculate somebody else or inject it by accident and there could be bloodborne pathogens that might be transmitted that way, like hepatitis B and C, and then uh, obviously HIV. Oh! It made it sound like it was like glass, but all of those syringes are probably plastic, but the needles themselves are potentially all metal. Ow! What the f wrong with you? She found the key? How the heck did that happen? Oh my gosh, yeah. You had enough time to put the key in and you screwed up. Oh my gosh. You I know some people are terrified of needles. I've seen many people pass out in the hospital from needle sticks, but I always tell them, don't worry, this is the best place to actually pass out if you're gonna pass out. Safest place in the world to be. Hello, gentlemen. You came looking for the game. Congratulations, you found it. Oh, you found, found the game. Players. Never good when there's a weird contraption around your neck, especially with like this weird breathy voice coming over the loudspeaker. It is literally like the seat collar from hell. Can't be. You may recognize the device around your collar, Dr. Nelson. Dr. Nelson. These laser cutters slice through tissue and bone. Oh, laser cutters. We don't get to use those in the emergency department. You gotta be probably really careful with them. They might be attached to robotic arms or something that's super stable versus these freeform devices. You both have an opportunity to live. All you need to do is confess. confess. It's that easy. No! 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 Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I wonder if those lasers can actually cut through other material outside of flesh. Why wouldn't it be burning a hole through the ceiling as it just went up? I confess. Yeah. Okay, 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 all right. Oh. All right, John Kramer, it was me. It was me, I up. I messed up your x-rays. Oh, he is doctor that messed up the x-ray. Sometimes doctors actually do mess up. They're human beings and they either dictate or write something in the wrong chart or leave something out. They might've missed something. These things do happen. I should have been there for you. <gasps> I wasn't. Oh, I was expecting his face to be cut like a cake or it was into pieces, right? How quickly could somebody succumb to these injuries? Just all depends on how quickly the blood is leaving the body. I've never seen any bear trap injuries in the emergency departments that I work, but I bet they do occur in areas where hunting would go on. I work more in an urban setting, so the likelihood is a lot lower. There is only one key to open the device. It's in the stomach of your dead cellmate. Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't freak out. Okay, you got the lock. Remember, if anything is attached to your head, don't just like rip, turn around, you don't know if it starts things, okay? Oh, he's not dead. I wonder if he was given certain medications to keep him from being able to move, or was he paralyzed from the neck down because he was opening his eyes. 
<gasps> Big, huge scalpel to the abdomen. I definitely wouldn't be chopping that way. If you're gonna cut the abdomen open, you want smooth stroke like what they do in surgery. And then just do a layer by layer, get in there, move tissue around, spread it open so then you can get to wherever this might be. Oh, she got lucky. Is it ripping your face off, but is your airway still intact? Rip all the way through to where it messes with the spinal cord in the back. Depends on where the fulcrums are and all that stuff. I hope I never find myself in a situation where I would even have to deal with that. The human body is a miraculous creation. Ever wonder how far the arm can twist? Oh my gosh, for twisting? It looks like it's screwed into the hands and the feet. So you can actually go between the bones of your hands without fracturing. We see injuries where people accidentally get a nail and the bones are actually fine. It squirts right through. Are you willing Have mercy. to take a bullet for the man who killed your son? Whoa. rotating that is so painful when we have somebody who dislocates their shoulder we'll actually do external rotation of the shoulder it's hard to get it all the way to 90 degrees now you're actually rotating in this direction even further ouch <sighs> So it's, it's held in place. It looks like it's rotating at the elbow. We're made to rotate like this. It's called pronation and supination. It's made to do that, but not to great extremes. Oh, the leg, oh, the leg. Oh my gosh, oh no, no. No, we don't see too many rotary type injuries. Typically, there'll probably be more of a snap of the tibia itself. The patella can go side to side, but that's easily fixed. The device you are wearing is hooked into your rib cage. <gasps> By the time this tape is finished, you will have one minute to find a way out. You got hooks or barbs stuck onto the ribs. We actually do procedures where we cut open the chest and lift the, the rib cage off. There is a single key that will unlock the harness, Carrie. It is right in front of you. All you have to do is reach in and take it. But do it quickly. The acid will dissolve the key in a matter of seconds. There's a bunch of different acids that we always worry about. Hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, bad pHs that will burn tissue. <gasps> oh! You can still actually live for a little while with the rib cage gone. She's gone! It's a protective layer. When you fracture and break off all those ribs, you're gonna have some bleeding. So it causes a lot of pain. Are you going to die right away? No, actually. So that one's very, very interesting. Oh my gosh. Super awesome. I do enjoy the crazy Saw movies for what they are. It does relate back to injuries that we see in the emergency department. Don't forget, the merch is still limited run, so check it out in the description. There's a link below. If you guys enjoyed this, please check out this playlist right here, binge watch the whole thing. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.